I'm looking all over the place for you. Where you been hiding? Hiding? I haven't been hiding nowhere. Wow. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Can I help you? First of all, you can help me by having a better attitude. I didn't do anything to deserve you talking to me like this. Look, I was sitting there all by myself, and you want to come and disturb my peace? I was doing just fine. Well, I'll tell you what. Do you want me to leave and you can get back to your little nasty attitude? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. What I want to do is talk to you about something. So you just gonna have to deal with me because we're gonna have this talk. Whatever, man. Go ahead. I heard through the grapevine that you were leaving our school. Who told you that? It's all over campus. Is it true or not? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't you? Then why did the drama club say that you were, that you turned in your scripts and that you were transferring to another school? Look, just because I turned in all my scripts don't mean that I'm leaving the school. Well, look. I have a friend who works in the attendance office who told me that you were transferred to another school. This is why it's all over campus. Hey, that's supposed to be private information. Why? Haven't you noticed? We're in a public school. That means if anything goes down, it's public information. Man, lies. It's all lies. <sighs> then why don't you stop lying to me and tell me the truth? Wait a minute, hold up, man. You mean to tell me you finna walk up in here, invade my space? Interrupt my quiet, then call me a liar? The way you acting right now gives you the right to wear that jacket. Look, don't you got something better to do than to bring me all this drama right now? I really don't feel like talking about it. Okay, look. I'm sorry for calling you a liar. I just wanted to know if the rumors are true and why. All right, the room is true. I'm leaving the school. What? Why? You are the best speaker on the debate team, on the basketball starting lineup, and you're a straight A student. So? So, you are the envy of every jock in school. Look, all that don't mean nothing to me. Are you out of your cotton picking mind? What is wrong with you? All that don't mean nothing to me no more, all right? Anymore? Since when does this not matter? What's wrong? Did I say something? Nah. Nah, you didn't say nothing. It's just. It's just. to talk to you, okay? Here and now. You're gonna talk to me. Alright. But look, if I tell you this, you can't tell nobody. Because it's really, really serious. I'm only telling you because you're my friend. You got my word. You know my parents, real, real. You eating over my house and everything, right? Yes, you have great parents. But what you didn't know is... What you didn't know is that that these is these is my first appearance. What? You're adopted? Ain't that crazy? How'd you find out? I mean, I opened the letter that came in the mail for the Department of Social Services addressed to them. But when I opened it, it told me everything. It told me where I came from, and it told me the next court date. <laughs> What's so funny? I was adopted too. So was Jerry, Tyler, Keisha, Brianna, and the list goes on. You're not by yourself. Dang, that's crazy. It's 2013. A lot of kids 
parents are either dead or on drugs. We have no control over that. We can't run from that. It is what it is. Dang. I guess I ain't alone, huh? <laughs> no, but you will be if you leave the school and leave all of us hanging. You one crazy friend, you know that. That's because we love you. <laughs> so, this means you're not leaving the school, right? Nah. Okay, good. Let's keep going. The drama class is waiting.